We are totally just jamming back here. <laughs> Did you like that music? Oh, yeah. You like the the intro? whole video, too. Yeah. Super. Welcome, girls, to Glam on Demand. We do this every month where we're doing tutorials with different makeup. And today, my daughter is with me. You remember her. You remember her. This time I have hair, though. Longer hair. Really? Last time I had my little boy cut. You had just chopped all your hair off. I, I, rem hair off. I remember. Mm -hmm. You know, those phases. It was cute. But this is nicer. For a little while. <laughs> this is nicer. Mom likes the longer hair on Melody. Mm -hmm. So say hello. Tell us where you're watching from. Tell us where you're watching from. And also let us know if you already have the summer colors. If you've already ordered them, if you told your consultant to get them, for the girls that are watching that are consultants, let me know if you already placed that order. I have a few of mine and we're going to unbox them today. Okay. And we're going to mm -hmm. talk a little bit about them. So we're going to have a blast. This is literally an unboxing new summer colors and mellow. We have a limited edition, like lip and cheek cream. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's going to be really interesting. Yeah. So I grabbed some extra cream brushes so that we could do the lips and they are also new matte glosses lip glosses i'm ready i'm ready are you ready yes. she's she is totally ready so i think you're going to get um really two generations doing a look with these amazing new products and we have a beautiful brush that we're going to introduce as well but girls do not forget that we are celebrating birthdays we're doing may birthday so this is what we're doing different with glam every glam we have the birthdays that are of that month. So if you were born in May, you're going to contact your consultant and you're going to get the bundle at 20% oh, wow. off. Yep. Awesome. So 20% off these amazing products, but you have to tell your consultant, my birthday's in May. She may already know. That's why she invited you to watch today. Okay. And the rest of us girls, we're going to order these products because we absolutely, absolutely love them. All right. Can you please grab that box? Are you ready? I am ready. I think I got a scissors here. Ooh, I'm so excited. Like, we don't even know what kind of look we're going to do with these colors. Um, what are you drinking there? Did you already have your coffee? I always like to ask what my girls are drinking. It's <laughs> early Saturday morning, and... I'm definitely not much of a coffee drinker. That's good. Surprisingly, being Hispanic... Being Latina <laughs> with the Bustelo coffee. But I do have my smoothie. And I think lately I've been a little bit addicted to tropical smoothie. Mm -hmm. I have my sunrise sunset. It's the only one I get. Tropical smoothie. You can't make me change my All <laughs> right. All right. So girls are drinking their coffee. Hey, we see you commenting. Thank you so much for watching. Don't you just love these boxes? I love these boxes. They're just so like adorable. Popcorns in it. All right, Melo, I see a bag. Go ahead and reach in and grab that first little bag there. See what we have. Oh, nice. Ooh, and I have the catalog. I made sure that I got one of those so that we can read what it is that we're... This reminds me of how you used to close the bread bags when I was little. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Does anybody use the little wire thing or do you just close it with a knot? I always make sure I know where that little wire is because I don't <laughs> like closing them like this. That's so funny. All right, here we go. That's our box. It's open and we are ready. All right, let's see what we got. Um, oh my God, I'm so excited. Like, I don't even know where to start. We already have our foundation on. Do you have your foundation on? Not really. She doesn't. No. So I'm she's right going to put her foundation on. Which foundation do you use? I use the Luminous 3D foundation in the shade Beige 130. Page C-130. Page C-130. I have foundation on. So let's see what we have here. Okay. Um, I'm going to open. This is a lip gloss. I think there's two. The matte ones. one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There it is. This mm -hmm. packaging is so cute. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> I like that. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to put the commercial on so we can see a little bit about it while we open these colors up.
loves colors, Mello. I am ready. Let's see. We have a few of them here. Oh, look at these colors. All right, show them. Look at how beautiful these colors are. Which one are you going to try, Mello? Definitely, I think this one. I knew you were going to say depends, that. though. We'll see what I do with my eyes because that will really determine which one I use. I might use the more pink one. Okay. So, mm-hmm, mm mm-hmm. Mm I figured you would say this because you love rich truffle. Yes. Any, like, brown nude shade is my go-to. I've never been one to use too much of a pinky color or, like, reds. I just never really liked them on myself. I so wish pretty. I wish I liked them on myself, though. Okay, so let me see what colors it is that we have. Okay, so hold on to that, unless you can see. Because, girl, this your mama's getting old in her eyesight. It's small. But I have the book here, so I can say what we have. We yes. have Rich Espresso, which is that dark one. We have Modern Nude, which is the one that you like. And we have Must Have Moth. So pretty. There's also classic red and there's also burgundy orchid for girls who like more of the berry look, mm -hmm. the berry look. All right, let's keep opening up. What else do we have? We don't know which we're going to, we don't know which one we're going to use for our look. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be doing this look and it's going to be amazing. I love it so much. What do you got? These are the cream. Oh, lip and cheek. Cream blush. So you can literally use this as a... Oh, wow. These are nice. That is absolutely amazing. I love how amazing. bright the packaging is. I like it, too. Yeah. So pretty. It's All right. Let's packaging. open that up and see what it looks like. Here. All right. Let me see. This... What is going Okay, we kind of like lost and then we came back. All right, so we have this one right here. And that is going to go, look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. And it's called Peach Shimmer. This could be a lipstick or a cheek color, which is wild. I think absolutely I would use that wild. For my cheeks for sure. So pretty. Let me see what, the, the next one. Mm. This one is Mauve Sunset. Sunset. We said that together. Look how the difference is so, it's it's subtle. It's subtle, one from the next. Mm -hmm. The next one is Spiced Berry. That'll look nice on a lip. Mm -hmm. That'll look really nice on a lip. All right, so that's that one. Ooh, can you imagine that? I can imagine it on you. I've seen you wear colors like that before. There is a purple that we used to have. I think it was like Purple Nova or something like that. And... I love this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And it could be a blush. So this could be a blush or it could be Lip. lipstick. Yeah. And we're going to use our cream uh, brush. There's a cream brush that we use. I gave you one, a good one, a new one, because I knew she might want to use it. So <laughs> this is what our cream brush looks like. Okay. So you want to make sure you get one of these so that you can use this if you're going to use it for your lips. All right, Mello. Um, I want to talk about the brush, which I thought I had, but I do not have. And you get the brush when you order a foundation. When you order your foundation, you're going to get the brush for $5. Look how beautiful this brush is. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely super cute. a must have for me. <laughs> I knew she was going to want one. So we're going to have to get a few of these. We'll have to order your foundation because her foundation is already look. Yeah, it's running low. It's running low. So when we order you. that foundation, you will get for $5, girls, you get the brush. And a dollar goes towards, that. I just read it, goes towards the Mary Kay Foundation. And we already know that the Mary Kay Foundation deals with domestic violence as well as research for cancer. I mean, they're just doing so many great things. I just love this company. Mary Kay is committing to support it, committed to supporting the continued efforts of the Mary Kay Ash Foundation to invest in innovative cancer research for women related cancers and ending domestic violence against women and girls. Yeah. So grab your book, get all this information and Mello, start your foundation. Okay. 
And let's see what we come up with, with this beautiful compact. I mean, the compact is gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer. All I did was my eyebrows. Your eyebrows are done too? Yeah. Okay. So eyebrows are done and let's get this party started. So I've graduated. Mm -hmm. I've grown up a little bit in the way I do my makeup. Um, mm. I know you remember I used to do all the little dots with my foundation. <gasps> I on was going to ask you that. Do you still do all those little dots with no, your CC I, cream? I do not. I go in with my brush and then do it. I feel like it's not as cakey you looking. You just put it on me. your Yeah. I oh, so you do have a different method. Yeah, because I could still kind of do the same thing, you mm -hmm. know, put the dots, but it's more spreadable, not like doing it. It's this spreadable, way. Yeah. blendable. Yes. Awesome. And I feel like lately, which I might start getting more CC creams because mm -hmm. I've been more into the light coverage lately now that it's going to be summertime. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if I do that little switch over. So summertime, you like it to be more like a dewy, natural look. Yeah. And not so heavy. Heavy. Mm -hmm. when... I'm not, I don't go out too much. I definitely like to stay home and relax so there's not really much need for me personally to do such harsh makeup right right whereas when I do go out I'm most likely going to like the beach or out with the girls to get some coffee and I mm -hmm. prefer just a something light on my face which is also why I'm excited about the creams because it'll because the creams the are light yes yeah I am baking because I love to bake I still do it I only the only thing that I do a little bit different is I, I come up a little more because it gives you before I used to do it down here and now I'm doing it up here because it just lifts the face mm -hmm. and I do my contour slightly higher up and my blush higher up than before because before it was more down here and now I'm bringing it up here just to that's just a trick for us ladies who, you know, we're starting to see like not you, though. <laughs> You're still young and fabulous, well, but okay. we are just as fabulous no matter what age because we're taking care of our skin. We're using great products and it is absolutely amazing what Mary Kay is doing for our, just the products that we use. I love the anti-aging, the anti-aging. Exactly. I love our bronzer stick. I always go in with that. I absolutely love it. And right in the nose area. It's wild. I feel mm -hmm. like it's been a long time since I've done glam. And I do it every month. But I don't know why this time it just feels like it was a long time ago. Yeah. I we love being here with you guys. I think it's because you've been just vacaying. So <gasps> glam doesn't really That's feel like right. glam. That's right. I was in Amsterdam and Belgium and Paris. And that was an amazing experience. It was so, so, so beautiful. I'm next. I want to go next. <laughs> yeah. I want to entice the girls, my children, to want to travel. Mm -hmm. How are you putting your well, concealer? With me, I kind of like to put it all under my eye. It really depends on what your under eyes are like. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are just darker, more towards the middle. So I would suggest just putting it closer to the middle to brighten it. Mm -hmm. But with me, I feel like my under eyes, especially this side, I have like a vein because I'm see-through. So you can see my... <laughs> Ladies, let me just tell you something. This girl keeps telling me that she's see-through. And I'm like, what do you mean you are see-through? Well... My sister says the same thing because her and I both, when we like close our eyes, you can see the veins in our eyes and under our eyes. So that's why me personally, I'll put the concealer more throughout the underneath of my eyes rather than just the inner corner. Okay. Hashtag see through. <laughs> if you have those see through issues. And I think I was like that too when I was younger, when I didn't mm -hmm. have as many freckles as I do now. Mm -hmm. I could see my veins and I could see the veins uh, uh, on the top of my eyelid, obviously. But um, when you put the concealer on, because it's a color corrector, it just gives you that wonderful canvas for you to put your makeup on. Mm -hmm. I did put my primer for my eyeshadow. I oh had tried God, so to branch beautiful. out and try a different concealer, but nothing has worked on my face as good as the Mary Kay one. <gasps> she confessed. It's just facts. She confessed. She tried 
a different brand of concealer. It and it failed. It failed. Um, because my face, it's very, you know, it varies. I can be super oily one day or I could be super dry. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this concealer has been able to work with me through my oily and my dryness. Ooh. Whereas other concealers that I've tried mm -hmm. have not been able, they'll either look good on me when I'm looking dewy or they'll help me out when I'm dry, but they haven't really been helping with both. So mm -hmm. I've come back and... I found out that Mary Kay's concealer is going to be my concealer. It is the ultimate. It is the <laughs> absolute the best. Concealer. I'm just putting biscotti on my lid as a first layer, you know, kind of like all over. And just to brighten the eye a little bit in the inner corner. Because I don't know how this cream thing is going to work. But I'm going to yeah. do the cream for my uh, cheeks. So you usually leave the bronzer on your face, like the nose area in here, and then you blend it later? Yeah, I'm letting the heat from my face, the natural mm -hmm. heat from my face, kind of just do its job with the baking part and the contour part. Literally, gotcha. I am going to move it with the blush. Okay. So I don't actually blend it and then put my blush on. You'll see in just a second. Hmm, yeah, I have never tried that. Was that was like a, so it's def a, new, a new little trick, just so yeah. that it blends really pretty. Mm -hmm. That's what I've done lately. lately. I think my base is all set and done. Your face looks fantastic. I do have some points I'm going to fix up on my eyebrows, and I'm going to be using the Mary Kay Precision Brow Liner. Okay. And what shade? Black brown is what I use. But I might start going a little bit lighter because I'm going to start, my hair is going to be a little lighter with time. Yes. I'm going to keep going brighter. Join the blondes. Your eyebrows should match the color of your hair. Yeah, well, uh, it's really up to the person. I, mm -hmm. I see a lot of blondes with still the brunette eyebrows. Mm -hmm. But like if my Just roots sure it's were not still too dark. To match your roots usually is what I would say. Mm -hmm. So if my roots were grown out like how they are, I would keep my dark brows. But if I went more lighter all the way to the root, I would go a little bit brighter with the okay eyebrows. That makes complete sense. Mm -hmm. I have cinnabar that I'm putting on as a transition color and I'm bringing it into the, that's another thing that I do a little different. I literally connect the, tr the transition color to my nose. Yeah, that's that, a valid. That's I a like valid it. It just chisels method. the face like really nicely mm -hmm. when you just go in here. But again, it has to be a nice uh, light brown color to just bring it in and just and then later I'm going to take care of that. All right. So I'm going to do another color. What are you doing and for your I'm trying to what are you think. doing next? You see, I was going to do my bronzer with the powder, but now I think using the creams on my cheeks i'm gonna try to use the cream bronzer and we've heard so callie it, say that where if you're using cream something use cream everything yeah you never want to put cream on top of powder that is correct you can put powder on top of cream you know so you want to use powder. this yes i think i'm gonna have okay. to just so i can make sure i get the proper review for go the for it go for it hmm i'm trying to see what to do with my let me grab my eyeliner because I think I left it in here in the drawer. Oh, no, I think I got mine. Or is that mine? No, that's mine. Oh, yeah, girl, that's I mine. I always have it on deck all the time. If Ready I want to go. do a little bit of a darker eye, just pop it on. So I am not going to put my eyeliner in my waterline. Everybody's applauding, saying, oh, what? Because I always put it in my waterline. But this time I'm not. I'm just going to go out here so that my... My eyes look a little bit more, more open. open. Yes. Got you. And that's like a thing now. Look how cute. Like it's it just it's wonderful. And I'm gonna put lashes on later. Cause I want to complete the look. By the way, what are you doing this Saturday? Comment and let us know what you're doing. Let us know what you're doing this Saturday. Mello, what are you doing? Um, I'm just putting I'm not going in too harshly with it. I'm just dotting up where I want my bronzer to be. I meant what are you doing today on Saturday? Oh. Um, what honestly, is this, what is this weekend just, gonna look like for you? Probably just gaming. <laughs> That's why we're like not we we are like we're in t-shirts and <laughs> in tank tops 
and we're just relaxing at home. I also want to try that there's the new pup pup place I want to go. Oh, I didn't that's get a smart to idea. Go. Yeah, so I might go pup pup. We'll see. I'm just using my, because I don't have my usual blending brush for this, so I'm just going to use my foundation brush to blend it in. Oh, okay. That's smart. And I'm going to tap. I'm just moving this a little bit. And I did grab a little bit of pomegranate um, eyeshadow because I love, I love what it does to the eyes. Do you know where you're wanting to go next for your next, next vacation trip? trip? Yeah. Well, we are going to Maine in August. So girls, if you've been to Maine, comment what city, where. I've never been to Maine before. My husband has been many times, but I've never been. And I'm looking forward to that trip. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's going to be need, awesome. We need to have another trip. M me and you, we haven't had a trip since the Mary Kay cruise that <gasps> we went on together. Yes, that Mary Kay cruise. Yes, that your mama earned. Yes, mm -hmm. I remember that. So we that can't wait awesome. for our next trip. We got to plan something just That would two. be phenomenal. <laughs> bum, bana, bana, bana. Phenomenal. 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 Okay. I feel like you always find a way to bring up that song. My whole life, you always just think of a random, anything that sounds Kinda. like the original. I'm going to go in with espresso. So I'm keeping my, I'm keeping my eyes brown. I think Mello. I'm going to do the same, but I think for my eyes, since I'm going for more of like the dewy, mm -hmm. I'm just going to use the actual bronzer to kind of use as eyeshadow in a way. Okay. And I'm only going halfway. I'm not doing my entire lid. Just doing half of it. Because we're going to go in with these new products on the cheeks and the lips. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, too. So we're kind of like rushing. With, <laughs> we're rushing with the eyes. Because we want to try the, the cream. I'm going to blend it with my... Can y'all see what Caitlin is doing, Mello? So cute. What color was that? It was just the bronzer stick. You put that on your, you put the bronzer stick on your eyes. Yeah. Ooh, like it a lot. Just so I don't have too much powder all over my face, I want to still look glowy and dewy. Okay. Very nice. Very pretty. That's what I'm doing. Another thing that I haven't been doing that I used to do a lot is highlighting. I used yes. to highlight the cupid bow, cupid bow a lot. I used to highlight the tip of the nose all the time, and now I don't. Well, I don't really care for that right now. It's kind of not on, on trend anymore. Yeah, because it left so much. If you did it really harsh on the cheeks, it would leave like a white, like spot. Yeah. It would look like a white spot unless you were in the actual light. Hmm. So now a lot of people. I still do it on my nose. Mm -hmm. That's the only place in like my brow bone. Otherwise, I don't really put on my cheeks anymore. Mm -hmm. Now that more of the trend is the blushes with the glitter in them to kind of use that mm -hmm. as a highlight rather than an actual highlight. And we have that our shy blush is also amazing for that. I'm going to put mascara on. What are you doing next? Um, I think I'm going to do mascara too. I'm keeping the eyes more plain mm -hmm. so I can get more of the look of the rest of the face with okay. the new colors. Go for it. I'm going to be using my favorite. Fanorama. We have lots of different fans. <laughs> I asked all the time, what's your favorite mascara? And the girls always mention what their favorite mascaras are. Well, because. So let's do it again today, girls. Yes, I see you. <laughs> I see you, girl. So the way my lashes are, it kind of always looks like I have a wing liner on when I do my mascara because the sides go lucky out so much. you lucky you so this one's great when i have to fix those hairs because of the little yes the brush the tip yes the tip of that brush mm -hmm. is amazing Picture. it is innovative right yes and we love it we thought it was gonna just be like limited edition but they kept it for us because it's just that good Thank goodness, because it's definitely my go-to. I don't know what I would do without it. So it's absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I am going to go ahead and get the baking out of the cheeks because I am about to try one of these cream 
blushes. Yes. And I have my cream. I'm sorry, my cheek brush. I have my cheek brush. And I'm going to get ready to grab one of these. But first, I want to see this commercial and see what this cream lips and cheek is all about. Definitely very easy to apply. She just did it with her fingers. Yes, easy to apply. And it said it has vitamin E. And I think that right there is the seller. Vitamin E. We always need vitamin A, C, and E. We got to ace our face. Um, mm, hmm. Let me see those uh, colors that we got for, oh, here, here they are. Man. That that espresso is so beautiful. That I knew that was going to catch your attention. It's so bold and mm -hmm. perfect. I'm going to do this one. Are you going to do another one? Yeah. I'm actually thinking I might go more towards the pinky one. Okay, let's do that. Get I'm out gonna... of my comfort zone a little bit. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We made mm -hmm. our decision. I'm going to do the really dark one. So I'm going to go with, I, I, I'm tempted, one of these two, one of these two. <sighs> And I think we're about to find out if it's like super pigmented or not. About to try this. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't need a lot. Look. And I barely have any on my brush. Like barely have any on my brush. I'm turning the brush around. Thank God we, could, we have a brush that. Look at that. And I, again, I do it all over so that it takes care of the contour also for me. That is really pretty. And I tried, I tried this one. I tried the dark one. Okay. I tried the dark one, but I can imagine that peach is going to be really pretty. Ooh, now I'm excited. Which one do you think I should go for? One of these two. One mm -hmm. of these two. I would say this one, the other one I was going to do that I didn't yeah. do. So this was the peach uh, delight one. I want you to do the moth sunset. Oh, moth sunset. Moth. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. And notice I barely dabbed it. Like, yeah. It's just a little bit of a swipe. That's it. It's a little bit of a swipe. Okay. That is so pretty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the face looks upward. I take it, take it all the way to the hairline. Oh, there's a little bit on this one of a gold like shimmer inside. The peach one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. Take it all the way up to the hairline so you look snatched. So pretty. So rather than on the apple of the the right here. You want to do it more towards the sides. So when you look, it goes this way, like that. I love that. I love this. I'm already like. Look how pretty that is. Yes, that's gorgeous. And I'm being very light-handed with everything I'm doing today. So it's definitely a good pigmentation. Definitely buildable. And it feels pretty. And it feels nice. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's like I'm applying nothing to my face. I love it. Me personally, with my face shape, I do like to go to the apples of my cheeks mm -hmm. and over my nose to get more of the sun-kissed kind of look. Yes. Okay. I like that. I like mm -hmm. that. So go in and over the nose to yep. get the sun kiss. I already blended my uh, contour on the nose area. I'm ready to go in with my lipstick and you'll follow me, right? Yeah, I'm just After. one step behind every time. Like, okay, so I think it has the dough applicator tip like the other one does. No, this one's different. This one's just, oh wait, do you see how it is? It like goes in, it like indents. Do you see that? Yeah. So pretty. Now this is a matte. This is not gonna be glossy. Here goes nothing. It smell like nothing. It's nice. And I'm no lip liner. I love your lips. I feel like it's so like easy for you to just be able to outline them and color them in. I don't know where my lip really ends. <laughs> so it's a hit or miss. You're so for me. silly. 
since I was little, I used to always, every time she was putting on lip liner or lipstick, I would just have to like watch her because it was just so <laughs> satisfying the way everything just applied so nicely to her lips every time. Wow. I only dipped it in once. Look how pretty that is. That's a nice color. Oh, yes. Mm. I'm wearing this color tomorrow for church. So cute. <gasps> I'm going to do. Oh, my God. It feels like suede, like velvety. It doesn't feel like lip gloss. It doesn't feel cake, you know, tacky. Tacky, yep. Yeah. It looks good. I'm going to do a Ooh, couple I'm of... I'm so excited about these new products! Because I still can't... I think I'm going to do the pink, but I'm going to do a little bit of a swatch on my hand to really know which one I want to do. Okay, go for it. Wise. Go for it. Let, let's have them see the color difference between that natural, which oh, I really like it that. It comes out more different than I thought it would. Let me see that. If I wanted to do a... That's pretty... That's it's really a nice pretty. color. I might do that one. And then the more pinky one here. Mm -hmm. It's like matte, but it doesn't feel like matte. It feels soft. Usually matte yeah. makes your lip feel dry. And this is not making my lip feel oh, dry wow, at all. Yeah. Look. That looks so pretty. Look at the difference. That is gorgeous. Oh, so I, I actually think... Mm, I like that brush. I'm torn, Mom. Oh, with angles. Mm -hmm. I'm torn. What do you think? <sighs> Try the natural one first. Okay. Or put the pink one with the dab in the middle of the natural to give it like a... Okay. We'll just go with a the halo. Slow. To give it like oh, a halo. I love when you do the halos. On your lip. I love doing halo lips now. Before I used to do my eyes halo, but now I like just a little, little bit right there. This is beautiful. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. The texture, the, the texture of this product is phenomenal. You need to contact your consultant like right now and say, give me wow. all four of those lip glosses. Because they are insane. Insane. Just like the the blush. or <gasps> That's pretty. Everything feels like I'm applying nothing to my face, but I see a difference. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't feel really heavy. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't feel like... Usually with most matte lipsticks, mm -hmm. I feel like it gets very, like, chunky and dry very quickly. But matte I lipsticks like I do that. On, I feel like I have nothing on my... Lips yes, right matte lipsticks. I love matte lipsticks, but sometimes they make my lips feel super dry. Mm -hmm. And I'm never excited about that part. And you can see the lines of your lips because of it. Yeah, but this is creamy. I don't even see that. Like, because it's creamy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look very pretty. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm putting the lashes on. Your sister got me into these lashes. They're like super cute. They're like some Ardell. I eight, can't do three, lashes eight. for my life. One thing, if someone asks me to put lashes on myself, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'll just put more mascara. <laughs> but you have pretty lashes, and your lashes are still long. Thank you. So, girls, yes, I know. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for commenting. And this is interactive, and I we love to see your comments. We love to see your comments. So, so pretty. Now I'm putting the lighter one with just my finger, and it's not even like... Have you rubbed it between your fingers? No, I haven't. It's literally like nothing. <laughs> so amazing. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It feels like I just got a little bit of a moisturizer and I'm mixing it on my like fingers, between my fingers. But I like that. I'm definitely not one for the more pinks, but maybe mm -hmm. I'll start going for them a little bit more now. And this because is what I, I like love about this, looks. this is what I love about the summer. We can change our look ever so slightly in the summer and go and use more pinks and peaches. And then when it's time for Christmas and fall, we go more for the browns and the wines and mm -hmm. the the berries and Definitely. all that and all that stuff. Like so. I feel like I can go and head out to the beach and <laughs> look cute for the beach or maybe like dinner at the beach. Yes. Because it's just sitting that on my is face. adorable. 
so nicely. I love that. A little bit of lashes. And we are just about done. So let me go ahead and share with the girls the amazing bundle. Yes, this is what they're going to get. Model, they're going to get two cheek colors and one of the lip glosses for $48. Oh, God. The, the matte lips are $20 each. Mm -hmm. And then 18 for each of the cheeks. And remember, the cheeks can be lips. We didn't try that. True. We didn't try that. I'm almost tempted. I should have. I, I could have tried it. I should have. Now that I'm thinking about it. Let yes. Me see let's it. do Maybe that. Look. We, can... we got we got the handy dandy. I don't want to say Makeup remover. <laughs> I know. I know. We want to say Mary Kate crack. But <laughs> it's the makeup remover. Mm -hmm. She's going to take off her lips and we're going to go ahead and she's going to put on one of the cheek colors as lips. Let's see what it looks like. Now, my girls who have birthdays on, look at my eyes, look. my girls who have birthdays in May, now is the time to tell your consultant, I want that. And she's going to give you a 20% discount on that because you watched Glam on Demand. <laughs> Let her know you saw Liz and, and, and Caitlin and you absolutely loved the look and you're excited about these new products just as much as we are. Okay. All right, here we go. She's going to she's going to give it a shot. She's going to give it a shot. Let me see if I can just get you on there. I'm going to turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. There you go. All right. Okay. And I'm going to use the handy dandy brush for this where the They're right here. They're right here. They're right <laughs> here. Where did they go? Oh. Okay, you found this, it. Okay. Was it in here? Yes, yes. Oh. Okay, so which one are you going to which one are you going to use? Ooh. Um, let me try. I'm going to try actually the one you used for your cheeks. The darkest one. Yes. So that I'm is. really going to go out of my comfort zone. That is Lux Lilac. Okay. Are you going to. Go in with you're the gonna, brush. Okay. You're going to do it with yes, the brush. I'm going to do it with the brush just so I can make sure I get the lines right. I feel like my fingers are so dull. <laughs> it never gets it right. Go for it. Well, it's how does it feel? Smooth, very spreadable. You know how you can put on some like lipsticks sometimes, and it's like it's not going on very easy. You have to go over a few times. Yes, I'm not having to deal with that right now. Excellent. But like I said, I may not apply it very well just because I don't know the shape of my lips. <laughs> You're so funny. But color-wise, it's super pretty. I am not mad at this at all. I think this is super cute. Wow, that looks so pretty. I have to do my bottom. Just like that. So what do you think of that pigment? That pigment is beautiful. Girls, mm -hmm. grab that bundle, the new product bundle, limited edition lip and cheek colors, and also the matte, the matte lip glosses absolutely gorgeous i like it i love it i love it are and we ready we're ready to like start our weekend yes i like it i'm I ready it and i'm actually not mad at this at all like i said i don't go for colors this dark normally so i would definitely these, use this again these are gorgeous you need this in your life. And the other color is absolutely amazing. Every single one of these cheek colors are beautiful, blendable, absolutely gorgeous. You don't want to not have them in, in your vanity because they're just <laughs> absolutely adorable. And absolutely the adorable. colors we didn't use, we want to see you guys use them. And yes. we want to see what you guys think. With the red, I know there was one of the red lipsticks yes. that we didn't get to try. Yes, that's that the... purple color. Yes, there. so adorable. Mm -hmm. I think these are absolutely wonderful. Yeah. They're great. I love that it has vitamin C, vitamin E, I'm sorry, vitamin E on the cheeks. And then the other two colors are burgundy orchid and classic red, which I'm sure for Christmas, everybody's going to absolutely love mm -hmm. it and want it. So it's going to be great. Wow. Well, you look so glowy. 
and Thank absolutely you. adorable. We're going to have to take some selfies and post it right here. And we're going to let you go. But before we do, let's show that commercial one more time of these amazing lip mats. Thank you for joining us this morning for Glam On Demand. We love you all. We will see you again next month. And I'm sure she will be my guest again before the year is out, right? <laughs> Every yeah. couple of months, she joins me again. And I absolutely love that. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you again next time. Ciao. Have a great weekend. Mm -hmm.